So, uh, Ari, last night Donald Trump hosted a $100,000 a plate fundraiser to help Rudy Giuliani pump money into his legal defense fund. The event took place at Trump's golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. Giuliani had repeatedly sought a financial lifeline from Trump, but appeals for direct assistance from the former president failed. Giuliani faces mounting expenses and several lawsuits and criminal charges tied to his effort to overturn the 2020 election. Giuliani's son said the event was expected to raise more than $1 million and that Trump committed to hosting a second fundraiser at his Mar-a-Lago club later this year. Here's what an attorney representing Giuliani in the Georgia case said about the fundraiser. I assume that they're trying to raise as much as possible, and I think that they're going to need it. If you look at how much the state has already spent on a case like this, all the district attorneys they've pulled from the line, all the paper copy costs, all the investigative work, all the things they're doing, I don't care how much money you have, you cannot outspend the state. And so just being named an indictment of this magnitude and knowing the scale, the scope, the length of this trial, the, uh, even the preliminary matters is going to be extremely costly. To generate cash, Giuliani has sold autographed 9-11 shirts and pitched sandals sold by election denier and pillow salesman Mike Lindell. And just last month, he put his $6.5 million Manhattan apartment on the market. Uh, Ari, first of all, are, 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 is, there, is it really okay uh, for all of this money, by the way, from Trump, Trump campaign, campaign coffers and other avenues to be raising money to defend themselves this way? Well, it's all, it's all very interesting. Uh, you can donate and you can get funding for these kind of things. Uh, there, there aren't a lot of legal limits on that. Uh, indeed, sometimes the funding can be secret for, for lawsuits, uh, which I think raises some ethical questions, but legally yeah. that's all allowed. Uh, I think for Donald Trump, of course, uh, he took a lot of people's money for lies about the election. He took a lot of people's lives. Um, we just talked about people's sentence, people responsible for their own choices, but they were lied into it. Many of them have blamed him in court for that. Um, and then now he, ta he raises money from a similar or overlapping group of people to selectively fund only some of the, these people. Jenna Ellis uh, and John Eastman have said publicly they're not getting this Giuliani type support. And so I think there's some fissures here. I think that the, the through line is maybe uh, Donald Trump and his folks think that Rudy Giuliani knows more about directly what Donald Trump did in a way that some of these other lawyers were a step away. So they think that keeping Giuliani on board in this way is more important to Donald Trump personally. Uh, but Donald Trump doesn't pick up the tab. Everyone knows that. If anyone is a friend who always always is there when the drinks and the, and the dinner is being consumed, but never there when the tab comes, I mean, that's Donald Trump. And that's the case here in still the sense that he's taking other people's money and routing it to Giuliani. I think the big legal question is, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, why fund Giuliani's defense and not these other people? Um, and what happens to the people who've been left out to dry? Because one thing the lawyer said there, Mika, that is true, is we live with all this skepticism and what are the consequences of what will happen. Um, just facing these kind of charges is an incredible financial drain, even for a multimillionaire mm. like Giuliani. As you mentioned, he's already taking a lot of measures to try to keep up with those costs. All right, Melbourne, thank you very much. We'll be watching The Beat at 6 p.m. Eastern right here on MSNBC. We appreciate it. Let's